looking at future forecasts, uh, you see the model picking up in the showers a little bit overdone with the amount of rain here, but we'll again keep that chance for showers going, especially south of Milwaukee over the next couple of hours. By 8, 9 o'clock, most of the rain wrapping up, and the timing of this is really going to be critical to whether we can see that lunar eclipse tonight or not. You see by 10 o'clock, a couple of clouds still with us, but that cloud cover will decrease from west to east as we head through tonight. If you're farther inland, away from Lake Michigan, I think skies will clear out for you first. Those clouds are going to hold on a little bit later close to the lakeshore. You see at midnight, we still have at least a few clouds around, but the general trend is that we're seeing some clearing and then overnight skies are really going to start to clear out. We start the day Monday with plenty of sunshine and it looks like we're going to hold on to that sunshine through much of the day Monday. Overall, a pretty nice day. It is going to be windy though as we start the week. Look, uh, future wind gusts here 7 a.m. Monday morning. We've got these northwest winds uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour, but we get those gusts close to 30, 35 miles an hour from Monday afternoon into Monday evening. So if you're going to spend much time outdoors, it will be breezy. We're going to continue to watch the radar closely and watch the satellite closely and watch that clearing trend. We will have an update for you uh, tonight at 10 o'clock, of course, uh, 75 for a high temperature on Monday, gusty winds, but otherwise a nice day. Couple of late day rain showers on Tuesday, just 60 for a high 59 on Wednesday with a few showers, but we're back to the 70s Thursday, Friday before another cool down next weekend.